Hi there. Welcome to Art of the Detail, where we make the little stuff look good too. Today we are going to paint this tiny chimney using some simple methods. We are going to start by priming the part with a good quality acrylic paint. We are using beige, but any off-white color will do. These Vallejo paints cover well and don't leave much buildup, so it will not fill in the very fine mortar lines. Now we are going to paint the brick faces with a smooth surface makeup sponge. Trim an edge to a sharp corner using a fresh blade. This will allow us to apply paint tightly to any inside corners of the brick face. We are ready to apply the first layer of color to the brick chimney. For this version, we are going to use a few different shades of red to provide some depth and realism. Dab your sponge into a little bit of paint and blot it while pulling it towards you to load the edge of the sponge. You do not want any globs of paint on the sponge at all. The sponge should be just damp with paint. Now lightly draw the sponge over the brick face to color the bricks. Where you can, it is best to pull the sponge towards you while keeping the sponge face at a low angle to the brick face. Just touch the brick surface with the sponge on the strokes towards you. Lift the sponge away as you move your hand back to the starting point. This way, you will slowly build up color and will not get any excess paint into the mortar lines. Use the sharp edge of the sponge to get into any undercut faces in the chimney. Again, pull the sponge towards you to apply the paint. The top of the chimney cap bricks do not have any engraved mortar lines in them. Since this is quite visible, we will carve some using a sharp number 11 blade. Use the blade to cut a small V of material out of the casting to form individual brick surfaces. Use the vertical mortar lines to align your grooves properly. This little bit of added detail will improve the overall look of the chimney, since it will most likely be viewed from the top down. Using the same shade of red paint, touch up any of your bricks that may have been missed by the sponge. Use additional shades of red or brown to paint a few individual bricks on each face of the chimney. This will make the chimney pop with realism. As a final step, mix your mortar color with a few drops of Flow Aid made for acrylic paint. You can also substitute with a few drops of alcohol mixed into the paint. The mixture should be the consistency of milk. The flow aid helps break the surface tension on the dried paint surface and makes the paint flow instantly when you touch the surface with a fine tip paint brush. Dip your brush in the paint solution and give it a quick blot to get rid of any excess fluid. Just touch the brush to the mortar line to get the pin wash to flow into the mortar lines. You may need a couple of coats to get full coverage. Well, there you have it. You now have a chimney that will look great at any distance. Take a few moments to admire your work. This may have been a bit more work versus other methods of painting bricks and mortar, but it can achieve superior results. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Art of the Detail. If you picked up one or two ideas watching this, then we have accomplished what we set out to do. Keep on modeling and see you next time.